Hi there. Welcome to my first uh, video tutorial on how to use a software called Pixia. To use a software called Pixia, first you need to do a search in your search engine and find a site that looks like this. When you found this website, you can click download and download the version of Pixia you want. Uh, some argue that version 3 is a lot better, but the version I'm using is version 4. So depends on what you want to use. Once you've downloaded it, you may install it and launch it. Uh, as far as I understand, Pixia seems to work on Windows-based computers only. So if you happen to be a Mac user, I'm very sorry about that. When you launch Pixia for the first time, you probably be noticed uh, two things. One is the supplementary settings. If you have a graphical tablet like Wacom or Genius or any of the brands that you use, you can adjust either of these to your liking. Uh, for me, I like to use reflect on cursor thickness and reflect on pen size. Then I set the strength of my brush stroke, uh, the pen stroke, to the maximum. The next thing you'll probably notice is the background color right here. The default background color is blue. It means it's like this. If per se you draw something and you wanted to erase it, let's pick a color here. Okay, let's pick red. If I say I draw something wrong, like I don't want this and I want to manually erase it. With the blue color as your background, you'll probably be getting results like this. You wouldn't want that, especially if you're working on a white canvas. So, depends on personal preferences. For me, I would like to see my background color to be white. So, do your adjustments here and click OK. And now you can see some, uh, something more visible like this. Okay, so with that done, Let's have a quick idea on how to use it, okay? I'll explain this later. Okay. Your interface would start looking like this. So, click File for a new canvas, or you can just click the icon that says New right here. Then you can select the size of your canvas by pixel or by millimeters or inches, depending on which one you like. You can manually adjust them here, or you can select from a drop-down menu. In this case, I'm going to go for this size, right? And you can set your resolution as well. Once that's done, click OK. For any canvas that's really large, you probably need to full view your canvas. And to do so, go to the part over here and you can find the, hundred per the percentage of the canvas size. Here I'm going to choose 100%. Right. These are your menu options. These are most of its functions. We'll explain to them later one by one. And here are your coloring tools. Your palettes right here, color walls right here, uh, not color wall, color wheel. Your brush size is right here, and here is your layer properties. Okay, so in your next tutorial, I'm going to explain to you what you want to uh, get used to, or how should I say this? My next tutorial, I'm going to explain to you a bit of their functions, okay? So, see you then.